Hey guys, Minx Media Girl here. Halloween is coming up. So we're going to be doing a series of fun Halloween themed videos, starting with acrylic pouring on a pumpkin. This is just a plastic craft pumpkin from Michaels. You can pour on real pumpkins as well, but of course they won't last. These plastic ones, I did a few different projects last year and I still have them sitting out on my porch actually, and they're still perfectly fine. So I'm going to be using a variety of oranges, yellows, and maybe a little red. We've got glow in the dark. This is a folk art orange glow in the dark. And then also I'll be using some of the regular glow in the dark. I'm using Arteza. This is pre-mixed neon orange and some of the neon yellow. Oh, that one's not open yet. Hold on. Okay. Neon yellow. And then um, more of that. This is the regular glow in the dark. I want to put lots of glow in the dark near the beginning so that it definitely ends up on the pumpkin, hopefully. Let's throw a little bit of red. This is Artist Loft Flow Acrylics Red. And we've got Artist Loft Flow Acrylics Yellow. I'm just going to use a little bit of those guys. I'm trying to stick to the really bright colors for this one. This is the Arteza Iridescent Red, but it looks orange. <laughs> One of my favorites. All right, let's go back to this glow-in-the-dark orange. And then the more of the neon orange. And the neon yellow from Arteza. And I'm going to put just a dash of black in at the end here. Not a lot. Okay. Awesome. Now I have some ideas for some other pumpkins that I want to do. And I would love to hear your thoughts. I'm thinking for the next one, I would like to do um, all like metallics, like kind of steampunk theme. So bronze, like a metallic gray, gold, etc. So let me know what you guys think about that idea. I think that could come out really cool. And then um, maybe some also with just cool colors. They don't have to all be fall colors. But anyways, I'm just slowly pouring here, trying to get as much coverage as possible. I'm not too worried if I don't get full coverage. It'll be at least mostly covered and then I can touch it up if I want. So I'm just kind of filling in some spots. And the paints um, that are not the Arteza ready mixed ones, not the, you know, pre-mixed, all the rest of the paints are Artist Loft, or all the rest of the paints are mixed with Floetrol and water. And all of those recipes and materials and everything will be in the description. Okay, so there is some paint sitting in here. I'm going to just go ahead and grab a straw and actually just blow that out. Okay, false alarm. I cannot find my straws. So I'm going to just go ahead and carefully tilt this a little bit. So it does help having this stem here. And I am going to go ahead and put my hand on the bottom. I'm just going to tilt some of these over the side here. All right, that looks pretty darn cool. You can see that I definitely missed some spots there. So I will, I'm going to go ahead and just touch up some of those with my hands, but I'm also really not worried about there being some blank spots. I actually don't mind it at all. Just taking out some of the really big ones. Okay. That's fine, so that will continue to move. Let's go ahead and do our canvas, which is looking quite exciting. Very happy with these colors. Wow. <laughs> All 
right. That is actually gorgeous. It's hard to get just the right combination of all of your warmer colors. And I think that's pretty perfect. All right. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here is I'm going to go ahead and clean up my space a little bit, move some things out of the way, and then we'll do a close up and then we'll also see how this looks in the dark with all that glow in the dark paint. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do our close up with the lights on, then we'll do in the dark. So this is the lower right hand corner. You can see that neon and glow in the dark in there a little bit. I am totally in love with these colors. You guys know I gravitate towards blues, but this makes me very happy. The pumpkin. Here's the side that had the best coverage. And this will continue to change just a little bit as it dries. Here's the side over here. I tilted it towards this direction. So got some more of that black that was in the top there. And there you go. All right, let's go ahead and look at these in the dark. All right, so this is with the black light on. This looks uh, amazing. So cool, and look how glowy the pumpkin is. So I think if I leave this on the porch and it's sitting out in the sun all day charging, then by nighttime, we should have a gorgeous glow. Let's just take a look really quick without the black light on. Not bad, not bad. You can still see a little bit of the glow, just not as much. It doesn't ever come through the camera, unfortunately. Okay guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this project. Many, many more Halloween projects to come. And please let me know if you have any specific color suggestions for the next pumpkin. And I'll see y'all next time.